this is what we have in store today we got a brand new double den pioneer head unit for this 2000 honda civic si hey guys today we'll be installing a pioneer head unit in a 2000 honda civic si um, this is the exact model of it. This is around $400 with tax uh, off Best Buy's website. However, if you do I get this in person, I believe they install it for you. So that's definitely the option I recommend. I'm just going to do it myself so I can show other people how to do it. It comes with quite a few things. Um, since you're paying $400 for it, this is what will connect into the back of the double din head unit and you have a bunch of wires that you need to connect to an adapter. A um, bunch of, this will, this is the hardware to install it. This is a remote that you will probably never use. And a bunch of other things that we can get into. This will charge your phone to USB out of the unit. Um, and then of course a microphone so you can do hands-free calling. And then the main part, this is the Pioneer head unit, um, and it has no buttons. I like that uh, feature of it. It just kind of makes it look clean. Once it gets in the car, I think it's gonna look really nice. All right, now that uh, you have uh, this set, um, you do need a couple other things. It does come with a lot of goodies, but it does need um, an ability to actually plug into the Civic. So you need to buy one of these. You can buy them on Crutchfield or Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. But basically you match the colors of these wires um, with these um, and it tells you it has a bunch of tags of telling you what they are uh, um, so i'm going to splice them together but you can crimp them or solder them i'm just using splicing because i think that's the easiest method and then the other thing is is this will not fit perfectly inside the double din unit of the civic um, it needs um, one of these one of these bezels um, and these actually come in a kit together um, on Amazon. So I think this was only $20 total. So it's not a huge expense. Um, but yeah, this will make it just look a little bit better. It does come with a lot of extra tabs because it's meant for like a bunch of different Acuras and Hondas. So you might have to cut them off. Um, but it just goes over it like this and we'll fill in the gaps around. Um, and you'll get to see it better once it's in the car. But yeah, just get make sure you have um, both of these things before you start installing your double din unit um, in your Honda Civic. All right, now we're going to get into some wiring. So you want to go to uh, Harbor Freight and get a 50-piece quick splice set. These are around 6 bucks. Harbor Freight and get yourself some pliers uh, to pinch it down. We're going to use the red ones because they're uh, smaller, and we're going to wire like colors. Um, for these, we'll get a quick time lapse of uh, me putting all these together, and then we will start installing the Pioneer head unit into the car. The single din head unit um, it works great and everything and plays music and charges your phone but it doesn't have apple carplay and honestly a screen right here would make it even look a lot better so we're upgrading to the pioneer double din unit uh, so we'll get to the install all right so the first thing you want to do when removing this head unit is you want to remove this screw this screw and this one sorry it's a little dark in here but yeah there's three and then you're gonna pull down 
on this dash part. All right, now that this is um, taken out, you wanna get one and two out. Now, after you have removed those screws, you wanna press in here and here, and this will allow the glove box to drop down. And then you can take this center piece out, which exposes the bottom of the old head unit. Um, so we can finally start taking that out. All right, now that this piece is disconnected and the glove box is down, um, you just have to disconnect the um, cigarette lighter. And next, all you have to do is kind of pull out um, the old head unit. All right, now that the old head unit is out, you wanna grab yourself an eight millimeter and you're gonna have one, two, three, four. Once you remove that, then you can start removing this centerpiece. All right, now you just pull this unit out and all you have to do is unplug the hazards and the climate controls and you're left with this opening. Um, we're going to move inside and start putting the uh, Pioneer head unit in this uh, bezel and then we will come back out to the car. All right, now that we're back inside, um, we need to flip this around and we need to access these. So we need to remove the HVAC. So it has, you need to remove this clip and then one, two, and then there's just a bunch of clips on the side. So we'll take this out and we'll be able to put the head unit in. All right, now that we have taken the HVAC controls off, all we're gonna do is grab the head unit, slide it in here, and then you're gonna line up these holes once it's in all the way. Sorry, I can only do this with one hand. And then you're gonna use provided hardware to screw in this head unit. And then we can go back out to the car and turn it on. All right, now I forgot to put on the bezel, but you basically have to remove all of the tabs. Um, for it and here is the instructions if you want to pause the video you have to remove all the tabs except for four the b and the h tabs um, and then you insert it around the head unit and uh yeah so now we can put it back in the car now that this bezel's on and it kind of fills the gaps a lot better all right now make sure you put some electrical tape on some of the exposed wires so you don't blow a fuse um, plug in uh, your adapter, and then we're gonna start reinstalling, uh, we're gonna start plugging this in and kind of reinstalling in reverse order and hopefully this all pays off. All right guys, now it is finished. All you have to do is just basically reinstall everything in the reverse order. 